So what can I say to you? But I'm off day, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. I didn't bring my camera because I didn't think I would be recording, but I didn't start drinking yet or did I go get anything to eat. So I think I'm going to wait till dinner because I do want to drink and I have this toxic relationship that I'll drink before I eat. <laughs> every time, every time, but look, look at the setting. But yeah, I bought this um, golfo that's coconut. And yeah, I, truth be told, I don't like, I don't like coconut. I don't like coconut flavor or nothing, but lately I've been liking coconut, so we'll see, okay? I might get a pina colada, might. Also, I've been speaking Spanish getting out of my comfort zone. And I actually like speaking Spanish. Like, I'm starting to. And y'all know from Costa Rica? Is it Costa Rica? I think so, yeah. Where I talked about how I have anxiety speaking another language. Because, like, you know how people have broken English? I have broken Spanish. So, yeah. But I've been doing really good. Like, yeah. I feel, I feel like I've been doing good. So. Y'all will see me whenever I put on my outfit. And yeah, this resort is actually pretty nice. It's literally an all adult inclusive. Oh, wait, an adult? Wait, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's an adult all inclusive resort. And yeah, besides the room, I actually like the resort. So I just won't spend time in my room. So yeah. It's 4 o'clock, about to be 5 o'clock. My birthday is coming up. I'm excited. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I came back. I went to go get a little drinky drink. Did not, like I said, did not get anything to eat. But I'm hoping. Oh. Okay, I see. So, this, I wonder if y'all can see, hold on. This controls everything. See, if I take this out, all the lights will go off, as y'all saw. So, yeah. Um, I am trying to charge my phone for a little bit. It's currently, like, 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's, like, 5.15. And... I just want to charge my phone. I'm going to get dressed, take some pictures because my birthday's at 12. So, yeah, I'm going to eat. I'm thinking about going to the steakhouse because that does sound very good. So, yeah, I'm going to there. And then, yeah, other than that, I might go to the bars. And that's it. That is it. Uh, as you can see, I'm freaking glowing. Uh, someone just stopped me at the uh, in the elevator and was like, "Oh my gosh, you are so pretty." <laughs> so y'all cannot tell me I'm ugly, okay? The face card never declines. <laughs> None of my cards decline. <laughs> but yeah, it. Oh my edges. <laughs> It is my birthday. I am so tired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tired because I went to sleep early. No, I didn't. I went to sleep at like 1. But it's currently 7. And I think I would get ready. <sighs> a bit washed up. And I'm going to listen to this little Bible study. Not little Bible study. I'm going to listen to this Bible study. Do a little, like, do, yeah, do that. And then uh, go eat. I was supposed to have this meeting about, like, transfer services. 
So we'll see how that's going to work. Because I don't know where it's at. Hopefully it's just in the lobby. Because they're seating in the lobby. So yeah, hopefully um that happens. And yeah, I can't believe I'm 24. My mom will always say, you're not 24 until 11.57 at night because that's whenever you came into the world. So, yeah, I was I was almost July 10th by three minutes. Can y'all believe that? Three minutes. But I knew July 9th, 7, 9, that eats. That is such a unique birthday. And I love my birthday. And, yeah, I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. I, I look drained because um, I need to get up, but I'm so blessed to make it to 24. I'm so blessed for the life that God presented to me and the life that God has for me. Um, and yeah, I can I can only say thank you and praise him. And the more I get older, the more that I want to keep my faith with God alive and strong. So. Lord, I thank you for everything. Um, and yeah. Um, let me go and get up. Um, it, it's supposedly already 87 degrees, so we love that. Do I have a tan yet? No, not really. I'm going to be outside today, okay? Okay. So yeah, y'all will come to, actually am going to the beach, so yeah. I'll see y'all then. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better find your loving. I better find your heart. I better if I give all my love, then nothing's gonna tear us apart. I just came back from the gym. I mean, not the gym. I just came back from the beach. And I just want to show y'all exactly what the housekeeping did for my birthday. Y'all see that? Literally so cute. And then, look over here. Like, this is why you need to tip. This is why y'all need to tip y'all housekeepers. Like, it depending on what the country is, look up like what their normal tipping thing is. Like, some people only do like one or two dollars because when they exchange it, it's a lot of money. So, I give them like five dollars, like a day. Like, I'm so happy. Um, the beach was hot, as you can see. I'm fucking, I mean, I'm freaking getting a tan already which I'm happy about, but this, like, I'm, I'm gonna need like a breast reduction cause I need boobs that fit in my, my swimsuit. Okay, okay, but I'm gonna charge my phone. The restaurant doesn't open till 12, so I'm gonna wait till then, and yeah. Y'all, I was gonna take some cute pictures, y'all. But I don't have the part of my tripod that holds my iPhone. I only have it for holding my camera. So, yeah, it's giving. I will either have to put my camera on here and take pictures or take mirror pictures, which I don't know. Because mirror pictures eat, okay? Mirror pictures eat, but... As you can see, I got, I did my makeup, have the outfit on, 
earrings from Xi'an, outfit from Xi'an. This is from Rainbow. Nails from Xi'an, rings from Rainbow. I'm not afraid to shop at anything because I eat up any, whether it's Chanel, whether it's whatever, because the perfume ain't cheap, baby. The perfume ain't cheap. The outfit could be cheap. The perfume ain't cheap, okay? So, yeah, we're going to go eat. Like I said, I'm trying to find, I think I'm going to walk around because it's about to be, it's 625. I'm going to walk around, see where the steakhouse is, and go from there. I'm not taking my camera, but I'm going to still record, like, everything. So, yeah, overall, this was a good little peaceful day. I think tomorrow I'm going to go to the beach. And, yeah, I mean, I'm talking like y'all ain't going to see me till tomorrow. But I'm just thinking, like, I might go to the beach. I was supposed to do a tour the last day I'm here, but I was, like, feeling sick is people don't know i have lupus so i can't be doing too much um so i thought i was you know getting sick like having a flare so i was like i'm gonna just cancel it because i don't want to risk anything but now i'm feeling better so i'm mad that i canceled it because i legit feel better so we're gonna find some things to do there's like water sports on the beach that you could pay for and there's excursions that you could pay for in the lobby so we'll just find something okay okay but i'm gonna go eat because i'm hungry and i have not eaten anything all day did i eat yesterday i had work yesterday so probably not so we're gonna go eat Hopefully it's not too different for my camera because I try not to make it too different for my camera. But if you can tell, let me know because then I'll just carry my camera all the time. And yeah, I think I'm going to also pack tonight because I have a weird thing of packing last night. So yeah, I'm going to be productive as a 24 year old woman. But we'll see. It, it, it takes 21 days to learn a habit, so I'm not, yeah. So we're gonna go to the beach. I do wanna look around in the store before I go because the store is like right near the beach, so we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, also, the food that I showed y'all it was mango, the star fruit. I never had star fruit before. That's okay. It is. And what else did I have? Bacon. Their bacon is sick compared to American bacon. I don't think I'm used to it. That's why I don't like it. Because American bacon is thin and crispy. They're like sick. Like, I don't know. Also, when my mom cooks mango, she makes fried salami. So, I don't know. I didn't see no fried salami in there. So, yeah. It's cool. I'm gonna show you more of the resort too when I'm walking to the beach. But yeah, 
I didn't show most of the result, or most, yeah, I didn't show most of what I was doing because I literally spent my whole entire trip at the beach or at the pool. I barely even, like, drank, 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 drank. Like, usually I would have took 24 shots and called it a night. But, yeah, I'm trying to be chill because I am on a phone right now. So, yeah. We're going to, I don't know. We're gonna keep it chill when we go on solo trips because I like to be aware of my surroundings. But next birthday is to Granada, and that's supposed to be a group trip. So we shall see how that goes because, like I said, it's supposed to be a group trip. It's supposed to be. I know one person that is definitely coming. Two people actually. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We need some soup because this is my first solo trip out the country. Well, my, yeah, my first solo trip out the country, and it just proves that I will never spend a birthday in my place ever. Like y'all can have Carson, I will be out the country. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll see y'all after. When it's been a few hours, but it's been like days. Only been days, but it feels like months. When it's gone for a year, only go like once. Fast when you do what you want. At this time, I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. Who you want? My newbies look like Tyler Perry. But she don't love me, she's too scary. My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. Yeah, having out it looks like a sangria it got watermelon and pineapple mm, this is so good this is not alcoholic but this is sure so good <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I know what this is. So, I, I don't quote me. I think these are called Resta. And like, basically those are fruit waters. So you can get, I know, I seen them in Mexico where you could get like strawberry water, coconut water, pineapple water. So I think this is just like water with fruit in it. So I think they call them Resta. I don't know if that's a universal Latino America thing. I mean, Latina thing, or if it's different in each like place. But yeah. It's good, I'll tell you that. But yeah, today I am relaxing. I didn't really do too much, but literally listen to my like gospels do bible study i didn't really see you like y'all didn't see me do that but y'all don't need to see me do that honestly um i woke up yesterday and just wanted to thank god so i just put on a service that oh what's his name his name is like jerry i think and he's on spotify and he has Great his sermons on his podcast it's not even a podcast i guess it's like his channel and man when i say it's so true like yesterday he talked about how like you know if you know anything about um the apostle paul and how he was basically an unaliver of christians and then God made him blind for three days and on the third day when he got his sight back, he started praising what he killed people for. And people was like, how, how could you do that? He killed many people and he just kept praising. He didn't care. He didn't, he didn't 
like he into it because he's seen what God was telling him to do. That's all he cared about is finishing the job that God gave him. And it comes to show like now how we view like social media and stuff and how like we care a lot about views and likes and stuff like that. You know, we need to be caring about what God is telling us to do. And so that really put it into perspective. Like I'm starting not to care if like my videos get 10 views, 100 views, even 1,000 views because God's gonna put the right people to me. And I have always been a believer of God. Like if you know my story, I mean, a lot of people don't know my story, I guess. That could be like a story time, but that's like something that's traumatic for me, um, especially like my childhood. Like, But my childhood and where I am now is a great example of why I believe in God, because you can make it, so it's not a matter of nothing. And I got this tattoo, which is Romans 8, 18, which states, what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory we will build to us later. Did I, am I, I'm a little tipsy, I'm sorry, Lord. What we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory we will reveal to us later. Basically saying what you, you're, where you at is not your destination. It's just a, a, a stop on the road trip, you know? Like where you gotta go to pee and do what you need to do, but it's not your destination. God will make sure that, like, if He's always shown me every every obstacle that I've been in is not my my destination. It's just a stop. And yeah, I didn't mean to get too religious, but I really, as the older I get, the more I just thank God for everything. Like even this beautiful view, like this beautiful, like God is such an artist. I'm about to start crying. Wow. But um, yeah, God is just amazing. And I thank him every day for everything that he creates and all the blessings that he'll reveal to me. So, yeah, before I start crying, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to put my feet in the sand, you know, you know. I mean, in the water. You know I can't swim, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, cheers. Don't play with it, don't be decided